think I'm gonna do like a pure sound ASMR video. The sound of the twin cam. Stage two, horsepower cam. That's what you need if you're gonna be a real biker. You ain't a real biker unless you got a cam. You know, the whole Harley Davidson stage tuning thing never really made. <laughs> what I was going to say is I, the, the whole like Harley Davidson stage tuning thing kind of doesn't really, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, stage one is like intake and exhaust. Okay. Yeah. Stage two is cams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And stage three is big bore and then stage four is heads now my, my 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 only like thing with that that doesn't make any sense to me is if you're gonna do big bore on stage two you're gonna have the heads off anyway so i mean is it like a marketing thing i mean it would make more sense because you can take the heads off And it makes more sense to me to get the bike breathing better, you know, before you go adding displacement. So, I mean, is it like a, is it a marketing thing? I mean, do they figure, okay, well, you're going to have the head, you know, you're going to have the jugs off anyway to do the stage three big bore. You know, might as well just do the heads at the same time, right? Right? might as well it just makes more sense to me that I mean if you're gonna have the engine all apart at that point you might as it it seems like stage three would be heads for me for me stage three would be heads you know I, I feel like I would rather I mean cuz I mean 96 cubic inches is enough that's 1573 cc's and it just makes more sense to me to, you know, get the thing breathing better. Now that you've got your intake and your exhaust and your tall cam. But I don't know. I'm not a Harley guy. What the heck do I know? I'm just some dude. I'm just some boy on bikes. I really hope this guy is not going my way. Because that would suck. Yes! Score. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Because I don't want to follow that guy. I don't want to be following that guy with his freaking trailer. Because I got a need. I got a need for... Still got a little bit of a cough. <coughs> so this thing is stage two. got heavy breather, Vance and Hines big radius dual exhaust, and it's got a big tall Williams cam in it. And from what I can tell, Williams Moto Works is like, uh, they do cams for like, for, uh, for like dirt bikes, for the big thumpers, like big 450s and stuff for racing. They make cams for those, but I guess they, they also make a Harley Davidson cam. And on their website, they, do, they don't give any specs for it. But from what I can tell, this cam is very... I keep saying cam, there's, there's actually two of them in there. From what I can tell and from what others have been able to tell just from riding this bike, it's pretty much like, it's a horsepower cam, pretty much like your Screaming Eagle 555 cam. Skirt! Scrape the old, scrape the old footboards, it's always a good time. And, yeah, 
so I mean it does make the bike want to run more on the top end for sure but if I was going to do anything else to this bike and, and was going to have that engine apart for any reason I think I would probably just do heads I don't need a 103 or a 1010 I guess it would be a 110 I guess 110 would be the next jump up for the twin cam from 103. Get a little trip. Whoa, that guy was going to cut the line. Don't know if you saw that or not. But yeah, why is stage 3 big bore and not heads? Maybe the big bore is cheaper? Because I guess when you go full stage 4 and you do the heads, I guess you're replacing the heads all together. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I could be wrong. This bike does run good. I mean, if you're if you're in the market for a Harley Davidson and you're looking at all these 103s and stuff, and you're like, man, I don't know if that's going to be enough. This 96 cubic inch twin cam runs just fine. It is enough for sure. You know, especially especially once you get to throwing pipes and stuff on these. Now, I don't know if I, from what I can tell, you know, guys are getting pretty decent horsepower gains just from doing a stage one tune. Which is just pipes and an intake and some sort of fuel management system. And I mean, any more, you can do all that yourself if you buy a power commander. Let's get some. I mean, do you really... <laughs> do you really need more... <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. <coughs> oh, man. I am so sorry for that. I mean, but do you really need more than that? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, once you're getting into like a stage two tune, I would think very carefully um, about what kind of cam you want. Think about how you're going to ride the bike. What kind of Harley is it? Is it is it a soft tail? Is it a Dyna? Is it, uh, you know, a big dad bagger? This bike is fun to ride, and it is fun to... It, it does make... You know, it makes its power on the top end, and that's cool, you know, that you can rip on it and everything. But if you got a big dad bagger, you, you might want that extra torque down on the low end. It's all really just a matter of preference, guys. You know, I mean, do, uh, yeah. those are my thoughts and opinions on the Stage 2 build for Harleys in general. Till next time, ah, uh, this has been fun. You guys have been great. I've been your boy on bikes. <laughs>
false. I've ridden Sportsters. I mean, 883 irons run. 883 Sportster engine runs great. I mean, is it the biggest, the baddest, the fastest? Absolutely not. But, I mean, it does run good. And they, they make enough power, and you can have fun with them. And, and I've heard people say that they actually prefer the 883 over the 1200 because they like that small bore roar. They like that top end. They like that top end power and just, you know, being able to ring it out. So I don't know, guys. You know, on, on the other hand, on the other hand, a lot of guys say that the 96 cubic inch is the one to have. So, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. I This is the only Harley-Davidson I have ever owned. I've ridden a few of them.